Dear PacMar family, Merry Christmas. I want to take a few minutes just to share a few thoughts about Packmore and a few thoughts about Christmas. Let me start by saying thank you. You've worked very hard in a year most historians will describe as one of the most devastating times in the modern era. So many people have died. So many people have lost their jobs. So many people have been forced into poverty. And so many have seen their families forever changed by death of loved ones. Thank you for your diligence and willingness to push through when you could have quit. We've made it, you guys, and the light is there. We can see the end. God has watched over us this year. It seems in miraculous ways at times. Our government allowed us to borrow three and a half million dollars at no cost to keep our doors open. This money was pivotal when we lost so many employees to COVID and couldn't run our lines. But even while we struggled to find healthy employees, our customers provided what seemed to be an endless level of work for all our production lines. And yes, you can look at our turnover as a problem, or you could see how God has provided so many new people that have great ideas and a desire to see Packmore thrive. Dear friends, I'm in dismay as I think about how hard this year has been, and yet we are ending this year in an incredibly strong position. Our plants have never been in better condition. We have new production lines going in at each location with large investments being made by our customers to help minimize our debt. We have new business with big companies that have a number of new products for us. Our customer base and product lines have never been as diverse as they are right now. And that diversity allows us to weather downturns because all of our business isn't concentrated in just one customer or one product category. Both our plants are book solid through the end of March next year. And many of our customers are supporting significant price increases to help us offset the huge pay increases we've made in our plants this year. Dear friends, this is really incredible when you look at what we have been through. God has blessed us well beyond what we deserve. Let me also focus your attention just for a moment on two people who've given so much to pack more. Marcia Ispis and Terry Duncan have worked for our companies for many years. They have combined well over 60 years of service. Both will be leaving next week. I'm deeply saddened to say goodbye. They have been strong contributors, loyal financial fiduciaries, and caring friends to me and to many of you. I'm asking you to please take a minute to say thank you to each of these fine women. They are examples we can all aspire to in our careers. To you, my dedicated friends, Terry and Marcia, please accept my gratitude for your service. I've been honored to serve with you and I'm very proud of all you have accomplished. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to say a few words about Christmas now. For me, the only way I start to feel the Christmas spirit is when I buy my first gift. I know it's often said that Americans put way too much emphasis on gifts at Christmas. I don't know, I think most of us are aware when too much can hurt those we love. I truly believe most of us know how to navigate that balance. I'm convinced there are some really good things that come from giving gifts. First, giving a gift makes us feel good. Modern research, in fact, has shown there is a real thing called the helper's high. We experience good feelings when we give people a gift. Giving makes us happier. Second, psychologists have found that through the act of giving time or gifts, people feel closer to each other. Giving helps create better relationships with people. And third, it has been found that people who are generous on average live five years longer than those who do not give. Fourth, modern research shows that people who are generous think more frequently about being grateful. Givers experience gratitude. The Bible says that gratitude in our prayers leads to peace that exceeds our understanding. God gives givers a sense of deep peace. So now you know why Christmas is a time of peace. Gift givers also cause other people to give gifts. It's contagious. Sociologists have found that up to three people can be encouraged to give a gift 
when they see you give. Giving causes people to give. It's commonly said that giving reflects the nature of the giver. The point of giving is for the person receiving the gift to know you care about them. And I've learned through years of time with Jesus that the heart of giving comes from God. God is an extravagant giver. He has given us so many incredible things, the beauty of the world and your eyes to be able to see that beauty, food that tastes so good and a tongue that can taste those wonderful foods, our talents expressed in ways that help others make us feel valued, the ability to express love to each other in a vast assortment of ways, and countless ways that God has shown himself so that we know him. God gives to us in extravagant ways, hoping we will see him as the giver and have a desire to be with him. God is highly relational. He wants to experience our love and wants us to experience his love. His ultimate gift was his deepest expression of love. He sent his son, Jesus, to the world so we would know him intimately. Jesus died for us as a free gift, given without cost to us if we simply choose to accept it. That gift gives everyone access to God forever. Jesus is the ultimate gift of the one and only true God who deeply loves you. I hope for those of you who don't know Jesus that you will accept him this year as a gift from God. And for those of you who do know Jesus, I pray you will give generously to people this week. You know, people have lost their jobs and their incomes. They've lost family and friends. People need our love and our generosity. This week, please give your time, your heart, your money, your food, and your home to those in need. Christmas is a time to give generously. It is good to give gifts. God, your Father, is a giver, and he made each of us to be givers as well. May God bless you and your family. Merry Christmas.